no idea what just happened there. It just stopped. No reason for you to stop. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, it's, uh, I got this Ipruto ramen box. It's supposed to be like a birthday box, but I don't know if that's a correct English translation. It sounded like it was kind of like something you'd get on your birthday. And I got, it came yesterday and today's my birthday. So kind of, but ignore that fact. But uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Really high-end little boxed ramen. I think they usually call it souvenir ramen. But yeah, cool. And went out, took the dog out, did our 7.3 miles. Going to have to go get more bananas in a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw her in a crate. Actually, I'll take her out for a minute and then I'll throw her in the crate. Run down to the store and back. And that should get me at least to my 20,000 steps. I have been doing 10 miles, so yeah. Pretty stoked on that. Been doing more than that. And I've got new shoes that my wife got me. And then there was the thing from Buy Nothing Kenmore where I also got a pair of shoes. And those are different. They're like New Balance. They're both New Balance shoes. But the ones that I got yesterday that somebody brought over, they're weird. They're like slippers almost. They're, they're probably the most comfortable shoes. But there's... It, it's weird. Really weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, in the box from it, I had this nifty idea. So it's sunny. And I'm always cursing how sunny it is around here when it is when it ends up being sunny. But I took the box and I cut it up and now I have that as a more beta um, light block for the place where I take shots. And it's still, I mean, it's still plenty, plenty bright to get decent shots with it. So that's pretty cool. That I like. That makes me happy. There you go. Uh, but I'm just beat. It's like I want to get this stuff done. I want to go get the bananas. And then I want to just like sleep the rest of the day. And be done with it. I don't know why. I used to really enjoy having a birthday. But I don't know. I just feel all stressed out and depressed. And it's like. Maybe we can do the birthday on another day. Nah, let's just get it over with. Christ. But I appreciate everybody who wished me a happy birthday on my birthday, even though it's now August where you're watching this from. And for me, it's uh, March 14th. Pi Day. So mark that on your calendars if you want to really annoy me. Send me birthday wishes on March 14th. If you don't want to annoy me, uh, Amazon gift cards are nice. I like them. Yeah. Ugh. Just wiped out. This is the 18th day of doing 10 miles a day. I haven't gotten my 10 yet. I already got 7.3, so. Not far to go. Yeah. Now I've got three reviews. I'm going to crank out as fast as I can. Then I'm going to get out of here again. The nice thing is that the sun is out. It's going to be warm. It looks like it's going to hit 60 degrees on Thursday, which is nuts that'll be like shorts weather for around here hopefully the morning will start out like around 50 because that's shorts weather i think but if it starts out in the 30s and then rapidly goes up to being pretty warm that'll suck so it was like about 35 when i went out and then got back and it was like 47 48 and that's just like too warm for the coat that i've got it's a tr it's a tricky deal you see. Alright, there we are. And come hither and have a look at the at the pot. Oh uh, zeezers. And oh I'm gonna need egg. There's some liquid stuff. So I'm going to tell you something you might not have known. So you know I get a lot of packages, right, from different companies. 
when they go through Alaska or Honolulu, the customs people there, I don't know, but they're cranky. I've got a package coming from Indonesia and they're claiming there's not enough information, not enough information. It's vegetarian. Why do you give a crap? I'm sure it's got uh, Indonesian language and uh, English on it. That might have been it unsticking, I don't know. Chewy noodles, not bad. Mm. Eh. This is kind of like a Okinawa soba kind of looking thing. Ooh. That's oily. And I'm gonna say, it's nice and oily. I like it. That's yummy. I will give that a, uh, a score <laughs> when I get back to the desk where I do my reviewing and such. So this one took 500 mils of water. So this is a pretty big amount of stuffage here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do this a little comb over. And I'm not going to torch it today. But why? Because I don't feel like it. Simple as that. I, I cook. I'm a very emotional cooker. If I feel like it, I'll do it. But if I don't feel like it, I'm just not going to do it. You know what I mean? Sure you do. Sure you do. Ah, it's just the right amount of soy sauce to do these two. See, I knew I was only going to use one yesterday. And I'm going to use... Am I using... I'm using two today? jerks don't be an egg jerk see I want I want you to be in the right direction I want you to obey it doesn't want to caress the egg don't fight the egg want to get in the spot and sometimes that just it's just how it works and it's how it's gonna to work today so screw it I may have to test that uh, eight second swearing protocol on YouTube today I just don't I ain't feeling it folks I ain't feeling it and I will say ain't freely although interesting news we just had a uh, Russian Su-27 collide with a uh, U.S. drone over the Black Sea in international waters. Here's some uh, crushed red pepper. And uh, that's news. News that you can use on the Instant Noodle Recipe Time Show. Boy, this bowl looks like garbage. Ugh. That's okay. I've never had this kind of like Okinawa style stuff come out looking like anything nice. So I can, I can look at that. But it's good. I will say that. This stuff's tasty. So let's let Rotato do its thing and you can, you can sit there.
All right, the next one you're going to see is something pretty fancy from Indonesia. This is Ayam Pop, Indomie Mi Goreng Ayam Pop, and this is something completely different. Although it looks just like boring chicken, it is not, but it will kind of be because I didn't make Ayam Pop. I didn't uh, boil it in coconut milk and a bunch of herbs and spices and then deep fry it, but yeah, it should be good. All right, see you next time.